Let me just say that in the first three years of the show, David was far more contained he was than he got. So it was far more normal than the, the, the crazy stories that one hears. David, I, along with Winnie Holtzman, I count as um, one of the five greatest writers I've ever worked with. I would walk across the country to do anything that David wrote and participated in. You, you couldn't miss a meeting with David, a tone meeting with David. Not only was it the best entertainment you were gonna have all month, but he was so insightful that you could entirely miss the point of a scene if you didn't listen to him talk about what it was supposed to be about. I, in fact, also shot this show called Brooklyn South that he took over and, and he wasn't as available and there was a scene that I didn't understand and I asked the showrunner what the scene was about and he said this and I went, no. I call up David and he spins this thing about this scene and I thought, if I hadn't had that conversation, I, I, I never would have understood this scene. He was brilliant and generous and caring. And um, uh, I learned a lot from him. And I, as I say, had the benefit of him being pretty well in hand uh, during that period of time. So I know that toward the end of the show, he just stayed on the set, lay there, made up the scenes and told everybody what to do. And, and it was the job of the directors to just like implement I didn't have that experience. I had great, great um, revelatory experiences with him.